Good evening, class 5. Please take out your grammar book. So, we already finished this chapter, chapter 2. I gave you question answers also. Those who did not submit their homeworks, please do submit. Understood? Do submit as soon as possible. You can send me your pictures, your homeworks through WhatsApp. Understood? So, okay. We'll start a new chapter, noun number okay noun you already know that noun is a naming word it is a name of a person things animals right etc so number means it is related with the math it is a digit and all yeah or one or more than one yes so number tells us about one or many so numbers okay uh, whether it is one or whether it is two numbers tells us about one or many there are two kinds of number two kinds of number number uh, n n uh, uh, there are two kinds of number one is singular number two is plural okay so singular if singular uh, means number one okay one only we have to count one only if there is a one uh, table only we can uh, we can say singular it's a singular because it is a one if there is more table we can say plural okay singular number singular number means one person animal things or place okay so here here uh, you can see the pictures there is one table one dog one flower one boy so it's a singular okay we, we have to say it's it's a singular because it is only one itself okay number two plural plural means more than one okay or many plural plural number means more than one person animal things or place so here are what two tables so we can say it's a plural so here are two dogs so it's a plural 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 okay why this is singular and why this is plural because these pictures is single in number okay one and it has one table one dog one flower one boy so we can say it singular but more than one if you see anything more than one it's a plural okay you can see by adding s to the singular it's a singular arm um, bag cat egg goat horse and if you add s it will be plural okay arm um, arms bag bags cat cats egg eggs goat goats horse horses okay so over here also act acts bat bats boy boys dog dogs girl girls hen hens so if you add s it will become what plural so go through it okay please uh, read yourself all these things and now noun is also uh, a countable noun and uncountable noun okay so we can divide the noun in other ways it is actually the question asking the question we can divide the noun in other ways also there are many nouns which we can count yeah which we can count this means we can put the number one two three etc before them example one book ten trees three horses six boys such nouns are called countable nouns so the name itself is a uh, it itself says count countable okay 
the things those things which book table uh, horse boys girls school we can count okay books we can count pencil we can count eraser we can count okay so those countable nouns are called countable nouns those nouns okay sorry those nouns are called countable noun which we can easily count these things okay these things are called countable nouns turn the page okay there are many nouns which we cannot count okay for example um, sugar we cannot count salt we cannot count right we cannot put the number one two three etc before them example milk sugar yes wood um, honesty sadness we cannot say one milk one sugar one wood etc such nouns are called uncountable nouns so the nouns that can count are called countable nouns and the nouns that cannot be counted are called uncountable nouns countable nouns can be changed into plural uncountable nouns that have no plural forms so uncountable noun we which uh, the things which we cannot count milk we cannot count because it is a, a, a uh it is a liquid form we cannot ca count right sugar we cannot count wood we cannot count honesty honesty is we can uh, is the is the noun which we cannot see also which we cannot touch also honesty and sadness right so the things which we can count it is called an countable noun and the things which we cannot um cannot able to count that is uncountable nouns so uncountable uncount nouns always change okay it it always change in, in a form of plural okay for example books chairs uh tables pencils s you can add s in countable forms but in non count uh, uncountable uh, nouns in un in uncountable nouns you cannot uh, add s and it does not have plural form for example milks sugars you cannot add s it doesn't have plural from form okay so uh here we finish so please try to do singular and plural please uh, uh try this practicals others otherwise we'll discuss in next class okay till up to here god bless you all